Well, for the fourth day in a row, Team USA dominated the competition at the Rio Olympics. Michael Phelps added two more gold medals, bringing his total count to 21. Rising star Katie Lednecki won her second uh, gold in Rio. And from the pool to the mat now, the women's gymnastics team also outshone the competition winning gold. Now, we've been following uh, all the action from Rio. So here is Dana Jacobson to talk about uh, some of the more interesting stories that we talked about, I mean, everyone's talking about Michael Phelps, right? Yeah. He's a superstar, but that little Katie. Katie Ledecky, they've called the yeah. next Michael Phelps, and we're seeing why. It was so cool last night if you were watching it live, back to back seeing their performances and mm -hmm. seeing both of them capture gold. The neat thing about Katie Ledecky, and I think I mentioned this to Josh earlier in the week when I was here, when she was nine, she actually met Michael Phelps. It was an autograph signing session. She had this really cool moment being yeah. able to get his autograph and now being on the team. Both have sort of been asked about it now, and we're seeing this I love picture. That picture. Sure, yeah. The smile and everything, not knowing maybe that this was in her future, but I'm sure there was some sense of it. She also met Michael Jordan, apparently, when she was two. She didn't really remember it. She said she's seen video of it. Her uncle was part of a group that owned the Wizards. Oh. So she was able to meet Michael Jordan at that time. He held the two-year-old Ledecky in his arms. So I don't know. His greatness, his airness sort of passed on yeah, to maybe. her along with Michael Phelps, and now she's been able to do it too. Two golds, she's got three overall medals. The gold she won yesterday was her, basically her worst, I don't want to say her worst uh, uh, swim, mm. but it was the one that she was most worried about because it was the shortest distance. Mm. She's more known for the long distances, so now that it's out of the way, they're saying no problem. Right, I, I know that Michael Phelps has sort of commented on, on feeling sort of old, getting old at 31, yeah. and I was like, oh, give me a break, well, but I bet you when he sees that picture. Exactly, <laughs> and also at 31, he is the oldest swimmer to have won gold at an Olympics. So yeah, I, it's the athlete thing when you're 31 that you're old. He's. He's getting it done for the 30-year-olds, I guess. Yeah, yeah indeed. Uh, can we talk about uh, Nate Ebner? Yes. What a cool story. So Nate Ebner, for people who don't know, he's actually a safety on the Patriots. I guess that's his day job, you could say. He started as a rugby player at Ohio State and then went back to playing football, obviously has made his way to the NFL. The Patriots gave him time off. Remember, they're in training camp right now. Bill Belichick gave him time yeah. off. For people who don't know, Bill Belichick doesn't do this. No. So that he could go compete in rugby, which is making its return to the Olympics. It's the first time that they're, they're doing sevens instead of 15-man teams. So Ebner scored for the team yesterday, scored a try is what they say. They won one of their matches yesterday. They lost the other one. They're playing today as well. But this U.S. squad also has the Patriots rooting for them. Bill Belichick was wearing a Nate Ebner rugby jersey at training camp yesterday, gave the team time off so that they could watch and cheer him on. So obviously he has full support from the Patriots as He's well. He's a fan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this whole pool controversy, <laughs> the green water versus the blue water. What happened? Well, they, they're not really saying, and they say they don't know. So if people were watching, the, the pool that they're using for diving mm -hmm. turned a green color. Right. And you could see it. Here yeah. we see it right next to the other pool. It was clear the other day, and then it was green yesterday. I read a lot about it and what people were trying to say. They tested it, said it's okay. Divers said, we're not opening our mouths. A lot of the people that were commenting on it said it seems like there was an algae that maybe formed because a pump had been turned off. Mm. And now that it's turned on again, if that was the case, that color should go away if treated properly. But again, organizers are saying it's safe, but we don't know what happened. Well, it's pretty I would icky. not want to dive into that. No, definitely not. Very quickly, Tinder, 129% <laughs> increase in Rio. Yeah. Well, Everyone, well are, these athletes are supposed to be preserving their strength. Right. Who's not going on Twitter? Well, I think it, it's a combination on Tinder, probably, of the athletes and everybody else. But we heard about this at the London Games. They were calling it the Tinder Games, mm -hmm. because, or Sochi, I'm sorry. They were calling it the Tinder Games, yeah. saying that all the athletes were out there. They handed out. 450,000 condoms are supposed to be available to the athletes at this year's Olympics, three times the number they had in London. We've heard some estimates that it's 42 per athlete, but now we're reading that's not exactly accurate because the condom machines are elsewhere, not just in the athlete village. You've got a lot of time on your hands is what the athletes always say. Once you're done with your events, hot bodies, hookups, who knows? There's a lot of happiness cohorts sharing down, the love down if in you Rio. Will. Yeah. Yes, tender. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dana Jacobson. Thanks.